All right, hello, welcome back to the podcast once again, everybody. PayPal and Patreon links are down below for anybody who wants to support me. Only do so if you actually can. So as with the previous one, I apologize for any bangs in the background. People are setting off fireworks. For the consumption level graphs, the CIC site does show them as billion cubic feet per day, which is the normal measurement rate. However, for the production graphs, they show it as, I believe, total cubic meters over the course of the year. So to get the actual BCFD numbers, you have to do some math. Except, no you don't, because I did it for you. Alright, so, natural gas production trends will actually start with the global total this time. The global total, back at the start of the 2010s, was around 325 billion cubic feet per day for global production and global consumption. And as of the start of this year, they have reached about 400 billion cubic feet per day each. So going through each country then, the U.S. remains the largest natural gas producer and also the largest natural gas consumer, producing roughly around 100 billion cubic feet per day. Meanwhile, over the last roughly dozen years, U.S. natural gas demand has gone from averaging around 65 billion cubic feet per day up to averaging around 85, which has not come from really increasing energy demand. It has primarily come from the U.S. shutting down a lot of coal-fired power plants and replacing them with gas-fired power plants. Up to the north, Canada semi-peaked in the middle of the 2010s at about 17.5 billion cubic feet per day. However, that might not be its actual peak, and for the most part, it's been able to hold out around 17 since then. Meanwhile, its average natural gas demand over the last dozen years or so has gone up a bit from around 10 up to now around 12 billion cubic feet per day as of the start of this year. And again, basically the same story as the U.S., not from increasing energy demand, but from shutting down a number of coal-fired power plants and replacing that power generation with natural gas. Mexico's natural gas production, following their oil production downwards since 2011 or 2012, has declined from about 5 billion cubic feet per day down to only about 3 now. Meanwhile, their average natural gas demand has increased from 7 up to now 9 as of the start of this year, and a portion of theirs as a rising economy actually being from increased energy usage. Argentina, for the last dozen years or so, has held a natural gas production level, keeping an average of just under 4 billion cubic feet per day of production. Meanwhile, their consumption levels have gone up by a little bit from starting the 2010s at around 4, now being up to about 4.5 billion cubic feet per day. Brazil, meanwhile, over the last dozen years, has increased in natural gas production from about 2 up to 2.5 billion cubic feet per day. Meanwhile, their demand has grown a bit from 2.5 up to 4. And Trinidad and Tobago, the small island nation off the coast of Venezuela, while their oil production, for all intents and purposes, is basically done, they still do have a bit of natural gas production, especially in comparison to their size, although their gas production has been decreasing as well over the last dozen years, down from 4 billion cubic feet per day, now down to about 2.5, while at the same time their domestic gas consumption has also decreased from 2, from averaging 2 down to averaging about 1.5. Norway peaked in the middle of the 2010s. Norway started off the 2010s at around 10 and got up to a peak level of about 12.5 billion cubic feet per day, from which over the last few years they have declined down to 11.5. Meanwhile, their domestic natural gas consumption is completely negligible at only about 0 0.4 or 400 million with an M cubic feet per day. Meanwhile, the Netherlands has decreased drastically not because they were running out of reserves, but because they just chose to gradually shut down their fields, thus dropping it down over the course of the 2010s and these last couple of years from about 7 down to now only a production level of 2 billion cubic feet per day, while meanwhile having a domestic consumption level of about 3.5. And, and then most of the other European nations producing basically nothing, while having demand levels though, France's demand level has remained low and relatively steady at only about 4 billion cubic feet per day. Meanwhile, neighbor Germany started off the 2010s at around 8 and since then has increased up to about 9. Italy has decreased by a little bit from 7.5 at the start of the 2010s 
up to just about 7 billion cubic feet of demand at the start of this year. Spain has stayed relatively flat at a consumption level of around 3, and Turkey's consumption level has increased by about 50%, starting off the 2010s at around 4, and as of the start of this year being up to a demand level of about 6 billion cubic feet per day. And the UK's natural gas production did peak a while ago, and over the last dozen years or so has decreased from about 4.5 down to about 3 billion cubic feet per day. Meanwhile, their domestic natural gas consumption levels have remained relatively stable at about 8. Azerbaijan started off the 2010s with a production level of around 1.5, and although their oil production peaked and has been declining, their natural gas production has still been increasing, and as of the start of this year is up to 3 billion cubic feet per day. Meanwhile, their domestic gas consumption levels are only about 1. Russia, over the last dozen years, has gradually increased their natural gas production by a bit, from 62 up to 70 billion cubic feet per day. Meanwhile, their domestic gas consumption has increased from 43 up to 47 billion cubic feet per day as of this year. Turkmenistan started off the 2010s at around 5.5 billion cubic feet per day of production, and as of this year is now up to 8, versus their domestic consumption levels, which over the same time grew from 2 up to 3.5. China's natural gas production levels have increased over the last dozen years from 10.5 up to now 21 billion cubic feet per day, versus their natural gas consumption levels, which have just about tripled over that same time period, from 13 up to now 38 billion cubic feet per day. India, meanwhile, has declined from a production level of around 4 billion cubic feet per day down to about 3. Meanwhile, their consumption level has remained basically flat at around 6. Indonesia, similar to their oil production, they peaked in natural gas production a while back, and over the last dozen years continued falling, in this case from 8 down to 6 billion cubic feet per day. Meanwhile, their natural gas consumption levels remained pretty flat at around 4. Malaysia peaked during the 2010s at around 8 billion cubic feet per day, and since then has fallen down to 7.5 in terms of their production. Meanwhile, their domestic natural gas consumption did increase from 4 over the 2010s up to about 4.5, however since then has now, as of this year, fallen down to just four again. Australia, over the last dozen years, has raised their natural gas production by three times, or starting off the 2010s at around five and a half, and now being up to 15 billion cubic feet of production. Meanwhile, over the same time, their domestic consumption of natural gas increased from three up to now four billion cubic feet per day. Japan, having no production but being a decent consumer, followed the same trend as their electricity demand over the course of the last dozen, over the course of the last dozen years, with their natural gas consumption levels falling from 11 billion cubic feet now down to 10. South Korea also having no production but consuming about six, which is up from the five that they averaged about 12 years ago. Thailand hit peak production during the 2010s at about four billion cubic feet per day from which they have fallen down to about 3. Meanwhile, their domestic consumption levels have continued increasing from 4 up to now 5. Saudi Arabia has increased their natural gas production just in line with their own domestic consumption levels, going from 9 at the start of the 2010s up to now 12, following their consumption levels of the same from 9 up to 12 billion cubic feet per day. The UAE has done roughly the same, but is not actually able to meet their domestic demand, with their production over the last dozen years going from 5 up to 6 billion cubic feet per day, however their demand going from 6 up to 7. And Iraq is unable to achieve or maintain decent natural gas production, despite the large amount that should be accompanying their oil production. Oman's production levels have gone from 3 up to 4 billion cubic feet per day, over the last dozen years, meanwhile, their demand levels have gone from 2 up to 3. Up on the peninsula, Qatar has increased over the last dozen years from 15 up to 18 billion cubic feet per day of production. And that is their temporary limit, as because that's the maximum that their terminals can actually process at the moment. They could produce way more, and they intend to. They are expanding their gas terminals and those should be finished in 2024 or 2025, I believe, I'm not certain. 
but once those are completed, they should be able to jump up to 23 or 24 billion cubic feet per day. Meanwhile, their domestic consumption levels over the last dozen years increased from 3 up to 4 billion cubic feet per day. Meanwhile, in terms of production, Iran has increased from 15 at the start of the 2010s up to now 26 billion cubic feet per day. However, it is not that much higher than their domestic consumption levels, which over the same time went from 15 also up to now 24. And Egypt at the start of the 2010s was at about 6 billion cubic feet per day of production and declined down to 4. However, over the last couple years, they have been able to bring on some additional fields and it's been enough to bump them up to 7. Meanwhile, over the same time frame, their domestic consumption of gas has gradually increased from 5 up to 6 billion cubic feet per day. Meanwhile, Algeria was declining very slowly and was around 8 or so. Now, as of this year, they have jumped up to 10, and they don't tend to publicize a lot of stuff, so I, so I can't be certain, but that might mean that they have actually started fracking their shale, as Algeria does have a huge amount of natural gas shale, but whatever the cause, their production is now up to 10, Meanwhile, over the last dozen years, their domestic consumption has gone from 2.5 up to 4.5 billion cubic feet per day. And that's it for this one, so thank you everybody for sticking around and listening. Like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already. PayPal and Patreon are there if you want to support me, only do so if you actually can. You can watch or listen to any of the other dozens of episodes I have about all kinds of stuff. Go sub to my cat, she has her own channel, I'm trying to get her up to 1,000 before November. But no matter what happens to me, may God bless and protect you all, and I will see you all around next time.